Hi, I'm Sarah Swan and I do videos to help people with their mental health and today we're talking about job loss. Um, specifically how to kind of see the positivity in job loss. I know job loss is, is super hard and especially during this time when the coronavirus has caused a lot of people to lose their jobs and um, an unemployment rate is just super high and it, it's hard. Um, I myself have lost all of my jobs. Um, I was basically a service provider providing one-to-one um, -one care essentially with people like um, dog walking, nanny, artists, that kind of stuff with people. And um, within like two weeks, like a month ago, gone, you know, and um, I've been using my own kind of techniques to kind of deal with it and I thought maybe I can impart that with you guys. So um, when I say positivity, I don't mean all or nothing, black or white, you know, because, you know, you've seen those memes, you know, the ones where you have to be too super positive, but that's just not, you know, realistic, you know, it's not grounded saying, oh, I have to be positive all the time, because if you're feeling depressed, frustrated, angry, whatever you're feeling, it's better to feel those feelings and then move through them. And as you move through them, then you can kind of like come up with solutions. So today um, we're focusing on kind of how to deal with it. So I have three tips for you. So um, tip number one. So, sorry, so I have notes. So anyway, so tip number one, um, to see it kind of as a more positive experience, um, you kind of look at it as a learning experience, you know, um, be like, yeah, this sucks, you know, this is horrible. But what can I gain from this? You know, why is this happening? Um, and when you start asking those questions and tapping into your internal self, um, it kind of helps you to kind of like move through it. Um, for me, I asked myself, okay, well, what can I learn from this? Well, I can learn I wasn't completely happy with my life before. Um, I felt like there was more I could do with my life. Um, even just recently, today, even this morning, I, I was like, you know what? I keep on trying to do things that make money, but it's not really what I want to do with my life. And I'm like, well, if I could do anything I want to do in my life, what would it be if I didn't have to, you know, include the money aspect? And so I'm like, you know what? Everyone keeps on saying I'm good at self-help. So, and, and I used to do videos, and, and so this is why I'm restarting this. Um, but you make it a learning experience, you know? I learned that I wasn't happy. And that I want to change my direction in my life. Um, I've learned a lot of other things like, you know, for me, I'm a perfectionist or I, I, I need to work to make me feel happy or it adds value to my life. Um, like it was almost like my, my external value was gained by how much I worked, you know, or how well I achieved. And as soon as I started recognizing this, I'm like, well, do I really want my value to be given based on my job status? You know, it's good to obviously achieve in your job. It's good. Um, but if you do it from internal value rather than from external, it actually helps you achieve a lot more. So so I ask you, what can you learn from this? You know? Um, number two. So the other thing is, you've heard this before, um, things must break down for the new to come. Um, and... Um, it's kind of like this idea, I don't know if you've heard uh, the star nebula kind of analogy where for a star to be born, it kind of has to break down first, right? And then the pieces just magically come together and create this like brilliant star. Um, or you heard the story maybe about the foundation, you know, if you don't have a good foundation, if that foundation's crappy and the original building wasn't working, well, what's gonna happen? The building's gonna fall down. And if you build it the same way, well, Will it fall down again? Probably. So take this time to build a better building, to take what fell down and take the pieces, put them back together in a better way. And all of a sudden you might have a better, better thing going on. So um, for me, this also includes this idea of acceptance. So accepting what is, um, accepting what you can't change and accepting um, that, you know, there's things I can change, you know, and, um, and ex accepting uncertainty. And I know it's fear. It's like, you're out of your comfort zone and it's like, 
<sighs> it's cringeworthy. <laughs> and, um, but once you start accepting it, it allows you to kind of go through it. Um, and for me, once I started accepting it, it's like, okay, well, I can reinvent myself. So back to the billing, you know, you, you lose something, that door closes, but there's always another door opening when you have a gap, you know, where you had this job, right? But it's no longer there. Something else is going to fill that space. Now it might be, hey, I never got to do my housework or I didn't get to fix this or I didn't get to do the lawn. And all of a sudden you're, you're taking care of the lawn, you know, or you have that gap and you're like, well, I can only apply to so many jobs. I can only do this. I can't control that no one is hiring or I can't control this. I can't control that, but I can take this time for self development. For me, I've been taking some time for self development, self care, self love, and kind of relaxing into it. And it really does help. Um, so just, just know that when it crumbles, there's always something that will return. And, and it's, it's always not going to last forever. You know, being jobless, not going to last forever. You will eventually find another job. Now, we don't know when, um, but you will. Something will come out of this. Um, and just kind of go with that. Um, and number three. So this goes back to um, what you can and can't control um, and, and allowing you to kind of come up with solutions. Because when you come up with solutions, um, obviously you don't want to be in fight or flight. You want to kind of be calm and that helps you come up with solutions. But um, recognize that money is exchange. Um, it's exchange for value, for services, for products. And so I find looking into the environment, like what's going on in the environment? You know, what are other people's needs? What, what would they, you know, how can I provide value to them? And so as soon as I start doing that, I'm like, okay, well, there's other people going through job loss. There's other people who might have mental health issues. There's other people. So you look at them and you're like, what are they doing? What, well, how could I help them? Um, and as soon as you do, how can I help them? And it kind of leads you kind of into this direction. Now you also want to provide something that yes, you can help, but you want to be able to get paid for it. So think about how you can do what you love and do something that adds value, um, but also get paid for it. And obviously money, as I'm discovering, um, I literally had to think about this myself because I'm like, I keep on doing things that I think you know, could make me money that I kind of love, but not like passionate about. And I'm like, why am I doing this? Cause it's not even working. You know, um, I'm a graphic designer and I have the graphic design stuff, but I'm not actually making money with it. And I'm like, is this really what I'm passionate about? Um, and I'm discovering, you know what, if I go with what I'm passionate about, cause if you do what you love and you show this passion to the world, all of a sudden money will follow. Um, especially if you're adding value with this idea of adding value and helping other people and, you know, looking at what their needs are and how you can provide that for them, a service, a product, whatever, um, that coincides with your, your love and, and what you want to do with your, your life. If you want to reinvent yourself, then all of a sudden that money should come. Um, and, um, yeah. And also the, the other thing that I'm doing to kind of like help with this whole job loss thing, um, to looking for positivity is I'm like, well, what skills do I have? Um, what do I already have? What am I already doing? And how can I use those skills and kind of put them together, you know, make this puzzle piece again, reinventing yourself, um, puzzle piece that kind of could provide a service that could provide a product for other people. Um, and, and I have to say it's definitely helping. It's giving me the passion and the oomph to kind of continue forward. And um, it's helping me lead in um, positivity. Um, so, and then one more thing that I wanted to say about this whole um, positivity. I know that our brains are often geared to, I guess this is like tip number four. <laughs> um, our, our brains are geared towards um, looking at what we don't want. You know, what brings us pain? Well, I lost my job. This is horrible. This feels horrible. I don't want this to happen again. And so you're like geared towards... I don't want this to happen. So kind of sort of avoid sort of like if you see something similar, cause our brain is always processing as our everyday, um, lives go on. It's always remembering things that happened in our past. So it's always saying, okay, well this happened in the past. I don't want this to happen again. I want to safeguard against this. 
And so all of a sudden, you're like being afraid of what you don't want. And you're looking at what you don't want. And when you do that, it's so hard to go into the future and say, this is what I do want, right? So what I'm doing is I'm learning how to kind of like, kind of be like, yeah, this is what I don't want. This is what my brain's doing. But I want to gear towards what I do want. And as soon as I do, it gives me this positivity. It gives me this um, And then it allows me to kind of like reinvent myself and, and be more positive. And then again, it's this idea of reinventing yourself, but it's, it's like the door closes and the other opens. And obviously I'm being uh, realistic about it because yeah, it's crappy. What happened? Um, but it's like, okay, well, realistically, what can I do? How can I make more money? How can I solve a solution? And then go from there. I don't know if this helped, but I hope it did. Um, if it did, like the video, um, subscribe. I plan on doing videos every day. Um, I want to focus on mental health. I am especially interested in attachment trauma. Um, I am interested in relationship. Um, trauma in general, like generational trauma, um, changing mindset, consciousness. I have been researching for the last three years and um, I think, um, I'm hoping I can add value to you guys and um, help you guys. And right now I'm focusing on job loss because that's kind of what I'm going through. And as I kind of um, figure out what I'm doing and how to help myself, I hope to impart that upon you um, and um, yeah so anyway thank you for watching